Then it was from Tyr that the sorceress had met her hardest task yet in the dark wood, the darkest of woods. So she had to go find the waypoint. She had not found the waypoint. The gods had not disposed her with the waypoint yet. So we stayed to do go talk to Kasia and uh, resurrect the Silver Dawn because the Silver Dawn was destroyed in the dark wood. Nothing could uh, save her. Go to Akara. We need your help. What do we do? How do we defeat those guys in the dark wood? Akara said, uh, do you use the gems? The sorceress. Uh, what are the gems, Akara? The gems you find from the enemies. You have some, right? Uh, go check. You have some, uh, Yes, uh, Kara, I have some uh, chipped uh, topazes, some uh, chipped uh, rubies, some have chipped uh, diamonds, and I have uh, chipped uh, skulls. What did they do, Akara? Tell me, what did they do? Can I do anything with my cubes? And then Akara said, uh, yes, the, you put them in your cube, the sorceress. And your cube, the cube is the secret, the sorceress. Just use the Roger cube, and then your gems will just uh, do everything for you the sorceress so now the sorceress had to go figure everything about the gems the akara said uh, come to me i will sell you all of the gems you need you need uh, you're a sorceress right the sorceress you need the uh topazes the sapphires you need the sapphires so these will give you a uh, plus two mana increases mana plus faster cast rate right uh, six thousand dollars i want for each of them oh the sorceress so 6, 12, 18, we could only get like a one armor piece, but uh, wait, the sorceress, buy some flawed sapphires, buy uh, three of them, the sorceress, you have enough money, right, so now we could go sell, uh, sell your strangling gas potion, that'll give you 4,000 coins for that, and then you, oh wow, that's really nice, a uh, dagger, the sorceress, I'll give you 1,300 for that, so there, that uh, paid for pretty much one of these sapphires, now what do I do with them, Akara, what are the flawed sapphires for they're just a uh, simple gems do i put them in my uh, jewelry so to make it look pretty the akara no the sorcerers you just put them into your armor my armor how do they go in there your socketed armor the sorcerers oh my socketed armor yes i uh, picked up some of those you just bring them here just bring them to me just uh, drop that bar you don't need that bar right now so actually i uh, pick it up and go put it into the bank right you have a bank the sorcerers go save this go put your Barish and your bank, save it. You need some room for this one, the sorceress. Now we go put this in the bank. We don't uh, need this right now. We can hold it later for the act two mercenary. So now the sorcerer went back to the Akara. And then the Akara, I clear in some inventory. We have some uh, chest plate here, right? The chest piece, the quilted armor. Oh uh, no, that's not the one. The socketed quilted armor. You're gonna take that, and then you just, uh, here, just come here. The sorceress, come here, come here. Now, just uh, give me the armor here quickly, okay? And then we'll uh, put the flawed sapphires inside the armor. So now, gives you a uh, cold resistance plus cold absorb. It was supposed to give us a uh, mana, wasn't it? For the helmets and the boots and the armor. Uh, don't give me your uh, helmet, uh, the sorcerers. Give me your helmet. You have a two-socketed helmet, right? Uh, your helmet, uh, it'll give you uh, more mana, more cast rate, more increased mana. The sorcerers, you just put it in your helmet like this and then... Just like this, Akara, yes, uh, the sorceress. Now you got a gem, Tagashin, more 22 mana. So now, even more mana, cast rate. So now the sorceress, now the super secret to the gems. You put in a second flawed sapphire into the Hagashin, the helmet. So now we do that, uh, yes, uh, put the flawed sapphire into the Hagashin. So now it becomes a gem word, the sorceress, a gem word. So now the chilling Hagashin, it's not the gem Hagashin. So, 5% chance to cast a blizzard whenever you are hit by the enemies, the sorceress. Whenever the enemies hit you, blam, you cast a blizzard just like that. So now, you can cast a blizzard like a true sorceress. Because usually blizzard you can't cast until like way later, like level 18. So the sorceress, you're ridiculously powerful for a level 9, right? You got all this extra mana that you could use. And extra armor so you don't need that in there right do you have any keys uh, no you don't these sorcerers you know oh we do have uh, 18 keys but no save save those these sorcerers come here I'll, i will sell you some keys right uh, i need some extra gold too so now you go here you put the keys into your roger cube these sorcerers you go to our armor here and we uh, take out the cubes yes we take out these we don't need those in there so now we could afford uh, two more gems Maybe we should put them in there so we go to Akara, we trade you, and then we say we want uh, two more flawed sapphires, please. All right, and then thanks. So now, <clears throat> it's going to give us a whole bunch of uh, resistance, right? The flawed sapphires into the armor. It's just going to give us a whole bunch of cold resistance, but that's not the secret, the sorcerer's weight. The 
gemmed armor. It gives you 40% cold resistance, right? But now it's the chilling quilted armor that gives you 60% cold resistance. Your cold resistance was zero. Now your cold resistance is 60. And then you got the 7% chance to cast level four blizzard when struck. So two times the chances to cast the blizzard, the sorceress, right? So now there's pretty much everything here, right? You have all of these. So now some of that old quilted armor you don't need and some of the old helmets you don't need and then some of the other uh, helmet you don't need the 840 dollars and then the other charm you probably put that there the sorceress the strip gems you don't need those the coupons you could hold on to those maybe put them into your bank but uh, we don't really need space right we don't need bank space for anything just can sell that and then there we go the sorceress now you are ready to go to destroy those archers right uh, you have a whole bunch more mana and then your mercenary doesn't really do anything good we could take the hunter's bow we could add the chipped topazes and the other chipped topazes and then uh come back the sorcerers come back you need a one more chipped topaz right i have the chipped topaz so now the sorceress you buy the chipped topaz and then here put it in your belt put it in your belt put it in your belt here now equip the coupon into the armor so now your sorceress has a shocking hunter's bow six percent chance to cast three chain lightning so now your sorceress minion is just like a sorceress too so whenever she shoots her bow she has a chance to cast the chain lightning ability just like a sorceress so she's learning from you the sorceress and then this uh amulet is better than yours 10 percent faster cast rate plus magic find out give this amulet to your uh, minion there so now we have a whole bunch of our uh, gems and jewels we could put them somewhere because we don't know anything to do we keep them so Weapons of Gloves plus 10 minimal damage, uh, plus 4, we could uh, get a Not chipped it. sapphire, get a chipped sapphire, the sorceress, here, come and give me one chipped sapphire, so then the sorceress uh, equipped the chipped sapphire to the leather gloves, the socketed, and it became the chilling leather gloves, so now, plus 2 mana every single kill, that's pretty much it, right, uh, now you gain a, every time you kill enemies, you gain mana, the sorceress, that's gonna help your mana thirst. So now you put the fire armor on and now, ready to go destroy the uh, people in the dark woods, right? We could put the this stuff in here just so our mercenary has something. So the chipped skull and the chipped diamond and then the chipped ruby. Uh, it's just the gemmed hard leather armor, the Kara. Why is it not a gemmed, uh, not a rune word, a gem word? Oh, the sorceress, because it has to be a, three of the same gems so if it's different gems it won't make <coughs> it won't make a super powerful secret rune word or gem word so nothing super secret about it, it gives uh, him a whole bunch of resistance though so that'll help your mercenaries now go the sorcerers go back into the dark wood and destroy those archers before they destroy you and get the waypoint here so here comes the archers here with the archers we heal our mercenary right and we have to get more healing potions do we have more we need more you know, we should have my healing potions. So then now we go destroy the archers that were destroying us, right? The extra strong ability. No, not the flame thirst, the dark. No wonder you did so much damage. Look at how much damage. Half of our health in two hits. Now we got the studded uh, magical leather armor. So now the sorcerers are going to up at level 10. Now the sorcerers was at level 10. Sorcerers, the fireball did even more damage now 52 damage up to 64 damage so now the only thing the sorcerers needed was more vitality for more health so the archers did not destroy the sorcerers now where's the waypoint and where's that uh, tree head guys so here's the fallen encampment the carver encampment no the devilkin encampment oh jeez there's all three of them everything everything's over there so things you want to destroy is the shamans the sorcerers so the one shaman was fallen, and then the uh, second shaman was fallen. Here we go, and then uh, she made her way around to the third shaman. There's the powerful super waypoint. So now we're ready to destroy the waypoint and find all these shamans. She knew she was going to go back home. Oh, gee, she had to watch out. Don't get us surrounded by the devilkins and the carvers. So, oh, there's one more shaman. There's two more shamans over here, the sorceress. There's three more shamans over here. Shaman. Oh, another shaman was over there. He was hiding behind the rock. We didn't see him. Just now watch out all of the uh, carvers. There's probably more shamans down here. Just a shaman collection of all these shamans. There's the chain lightning that we've seen in the chain lightning. Go up by the sorceress. Go heal yourself. There's the blizzard, the sorceress. 
There's a shaman right there, so destroy the shaman. We get the Tavantus, we get the mana potion, and everything was calm as the sorceress destroyed everybody. So we got the hand axe, the skull cap, the flags. We want the flags. The nose. Um, don't need anything. So now we destroyed you. Formatting potion. Now, where's the other area? So, great uh, waypoint to bestow me upon your power, please. So, please. So now we have the waypoint. The Dark Archer to the rogue encampment. So now all we have to do is find the tree. The tree might be right over here, so we have to be careful. Don't get uh, hidden behind the bushes where you can't see. So here it comes running super fast. The brute, so extra strong, extra fast. The sorceress. Uh, put on your fire shield. Put on the fire shield. Get back, mercenary. Get back, sorcery, mercenary. So now that the brute was destroyed. The tree head was destroyed. It didn't drop anything. So now, Dark Archer drop on. All the sorcerers had to do was make it to the tree alive. Uh, watch out for the brute. The brute is coming out of the bushes. Jeez, don't get back. The sorcerers get back. So now we infused the tree. There's supposed to be a scroll hidden inside this tree. The sorcerers thought. Where could the scroll be? The scroll is inside the tree. The sorceress had to go get the scroll of the infusus. And uh, we found everything here. Yeah, we found the waypoint. We found the other thing. So please, great waypoint, bring me to the rogue encampment. We must go talk to Akara to tell her about the scroll. Akara, we found uh, the scroll, but not Decker Kane. Uh, oh no, uh, Decker Kane. He's uh, here. I identified the scroll for you. The scroll will show you the way. Just go the one, two, and the three, and the four, and then the five. And then that'll lead your way to the Decker Kane, the sorceress. Now go and save him. Now we need more uh, healing potions. We need more healing potions there, Akara. If we get more healing potions, then uh, we could defeat him. Get the one, two, three, four, five. And then uh, the quilted armor. It's a magical cell, the quilted armor, sell the potions, and then we're good to go. So then the sorceress made her way over to the stony field. Stony fields where the Decker Kane was hiding. He was hiding right over here in these rocks. I seen him. If we had the answers to it was just a one, two, three, four, five. And then the way to the Decker Kane was opened as we summoned up the portal to the dark underworld. The warriors got in the way. And we entered the portal and then we fired the armor up. So now the sorcerers had to be ridiculously careful in this area. If those uh, black knights come up here and if they destroy these sorcerers, then that is the end of these sorcerers. So for these guys, there's going to be the like, shamans over here too, right? The super shamans. Uh, there's one of the shamans. Let's go to raise everybody that we kill so we can't leave him alive. So the shamans over here is going to be... Oh jeez, watch out for those guys with those uh, demon minion super fast magic resistant. Black Lancer, the steel burn. Came out to just try to destroy the sorcerers. Just had to stay the heck back. And their minions were even stronger than the black minion scourge, whatever his name. The steel burn was soon defeated. And then there we go, the black sorceress was soon to make her way to save the Deckard Cane. Oh, there's another fallen shaman that raised everybody. Oh, just watch out for these black masters. Don't let them kill you. Pretty soon from all these travels, the sorceress was going to level up here. So get back, uh, our minion. Destroy these archers and these black knights. So now these sorcerers had leveled up. We were a level 11 sorceress. So the sorcerer had to go out here and figure out everything. Because now we're fireball could do a crazy 75 damage and we could get more uh, health for more safety and we could cast the fire armor and the sorcerers thought we could go back into the tristram and uh, destroy the griswold right uh, wherever he is oh watch out for the black uh, knight guy so now we got the eye rune and the dirks we pick up the dirks we destroy the shamans for the Yeti uh, minions. So there's a boss Yeti over here, so you have to be careful of these sorceress. There's a black knight over here flanking you from the left, and then a star weaver the cursed. Oh no, not the cursed. Get back, minion. Get back. Get back. Oh jeez. Oh, don't stand there. Don't stand there. He's just going to punch you. 
We get back, stay back. And then we got the heavy gloves. So now, all we have to do is save Dr. Kane. Dr. Kane, you're safe, you're safe. Go back. And then there was the champion yetis and the black demon dancers. Destroy the champion yetis, which is before the champion yeti destroyed us. Use the healing potion, that's what she is. And then eventually, eventually the champion yetis are all destroyed, right? Yes, and then we got the rejuvenation, the light healing potions, the mana potions, the turks. So Griswold was still hiding somewhere in here. We heard stories of this evil man who just would do nothing but destroy people. And he, we heard that he was in here. He was called the Griswold. Griswold the evil. Griswold the cursed. Oh, no, not the cursed. We were looking, looking for the evil one, not the cursed one. So then Griswold the cursed worked his way over to destroy these horses. But this was just way too ridiculous. You could not even deal with the Griswold of the cursed. Soon the cursed Griswold was destroyed. The sorceress had done it. Nobody had ever thought that the cursed Griswold would be destroyed, but only the sorceress could do it, I guess. So now everything's done here in this place. There's one champion Eddie left. Quick, I used the mana potions and the healing potions and the fireballs. The champion Eddie was destroyed. So now return home. The sorceress return home. You have the uh, waypoint, right? We go check the sorceress. Uh, talk to the Deckard can. Yes, and then as soon as, as long as the game does not crash. We should be okay when we talk to Decker Games. Now, don't need these healing potions here. We just need the mana potions. So the sorceress went to go get the mana potions. Talk to the Akara and go trade. And we say, uh, mana potions, please. So now, go to the quest. Now, we completed the quests. And then we have the waypoint here, right? So, dark wood. Uh, yes, we do. So we uh, destroy these guys before. They oh, jeez, watch out, the sorceress. Oh, watch out for the guys here at the waypoint. <clears throat> so there we go. Now we go talk to Decker Kane. See if the game crashes. Okay. Identify items. Okay, good. So now the sorceress had the power to identify it. The Decker Kane said, Bring me all of your items. The sorceress, I'll identify everything. So you made it through the dark wood. You have saved the Decker Kane. You're level 11, the sorceress. Now, what the heck could even happen next? Is there anything else in this world of the Diablo? There has to be more. 